Hey everybody, welcome back to my weird and wonderful wardrobe. I'm glad you have enjoyed my previous video in the series, How to Dress Like an Eccentric Billionaire. I had a lot of fun making that one. Today I want to focus entirely on shoes, because I think this is where most people struggle due to the fact that there's a never-ending ocean of various shoes of all colors of the rainbow. My mission here is to break the cycle of conformity for both guys and girls. So obviously these are all guys shoes, but ladies you can definitely take something away from this. In order to keep this video short and sweet, I'll be showcasing my very favorite shoes from my own collection. Hopefully this will inspire you creatively and it might give you a few style ideas. Very quickly I just want to say, the power of color is extremely important to me. Within feng shui, each color has a strong association with emotions and behaviors. All colors can and do invoke feelings both in the wearer and the observer. If you know your colors well, you will be able to attract what you want and avoid what you don't want. So my shoes reflect this. First up, we have these Italian black and white dress shoes. These are stunning in my opinion. If you are a fan of geometric modern patterns with an eccentric twist, you will certainly love these. Also, if you are a fabulous Freemason, the checkerboard design will look really good. They are pointy, yes, but not overly pointy. And the great thing with these shoes, you can dress them up or dress them down. They don't have to be super formal. Now, I'm more of a formal guy, as you know, but I do enjoy wearing these shoes with my zebra style trousers. Just look at that effect. Black and white, when combined, are power colors and they never go out of style. Not that I follow fashion, I really prefer to create my own path. One thing about these shoes, they aren't shiny, but if you like shiny shoes, then wait till you see uh, some of my next ones. If you're comfortable in your own skin, if you like to break the rules a bit and you want to shake up your wardrobe with something that nobody else will have, consider these striking shoes. If you walk down the street in these, you will be the talk of the town, I guarantee it. Okay, next up we have my alligator shoes. Inspired by the legendary Ric Flair, I can't keep these Crocs down, $600 lizard shoes. The pattern is really very well detailed, the camera doesn't do it justice. You can see all of the alligator scales on the texture of the shoes. Please don't tell David Icke about these babies, reptilian fashion. Shapes aren't the only thing we are shifting around here. You can see there is a slight shiny look to the finish, but it's not overpowering. I think it has just the right amount of shine for this particular style. A lot of very warm colors going on here. Gold, brown, tan coloring. Warmer colors obviously look better during the summer months. And when you combine them with a very nice linen suit like this, it gives a great look. Guys and girls can wear lizard pattern shoes, it looks great on both in my opinion. And these definitely hop back to a more retro era, which I personally like. They were very popular in the 1970s and 80s with fat cats and celebrities, so now I'm bringing them back. Bring out your inner lizard. So now I'm putting the crocs to bed, let's bring out the red. Oh baby, check these out. If you like super hot, sizzling, fiery shoes that make a bold statement, then these will suit you perfectly. I know a lot of guys are afraid of intense red, you shouldn't be. Red is the color of love, determination, and passion. In feng shui, red is the luckiest color in the spectrum, and oh boy do I feel lucky wearing these. If you want subtle, then look elsewhere. These shoes are all about embracing your inner dangerous side, the wild side. The black tassels and black piping add that extra flair to the shoes. Super dark black with burning hot Spanish red. Black and red go together like Lord Josh and nonconformity, they just work. Yes, they're on the uh, formal side, but I like that. And if you're going to a Spanish tango, my god, you will look dashing. You can tell I've done this before. The shoes are made from suede, very comfortable to wear and dance in, very high quality. I plan on buying the exact same style, but in blue, because I adore them. 
but right now red's one of my favorite colors. Okay, so all of the shoes up until this point haven't been that shiny. This is where things change, okay? <laughs> shiny silver and patent shoes, we love it. These are very bright and highly reflective. If you're in the club and you're dancing away, the shoes have this stunning effect where they bounce the light off in different directions. It creates a real light show. Silver is one of my favorite colors. I consider it to be equal with gold, both glamorous and glittery, but I think silver takes the lead in terms of maturity. It's a mature color and it's universal. You could show up to the office wearing a silver suit and then go to a party in silver because it has the it factor in my opinion. These shoes are a bit of a throwback to the late 70s disco era. Gotta love those sparkly discos. Also, if you're an eccentric astronaut, you could pull these off. They are formal, and personally, I think they should be worn with a nice silver shiny double-breasted blazer. It's time for you to embrace the shine. Don't settle for anything less. Okay, next up, these are like a toned-down version of the ones I've just shown. So if you are going to a very formal occasion and you want to attract the right kind of attention and you want to wear something that has a glittery shine to it, these are perfect for those more elegant parties because they are elegant, refined and tasteful. You can also wear them casually as well, maybe with some nice black jeans. Personally, I love the black jeans look, but I'm not into the tracksuits. Wear anything but that. Wear a freaking skirt before you put on a tracksuit. Gym clothes are for the gym. But I am aware I have some younger viewers who may not necessarily want to walk around in a tuxedo every day, so I understand that. But these shoes I think look fabulous. I once showed up to a black tie event wearing these and I got in, so they do work wonderfully. One of my favorites for sure. We've gone back to red once again, no surprise there since I am such a red addict. I know I've broken the rule here, these are not really shoes, more boots, but I had to show them off anyway. Unlike the other red shoes, these have a quilted kind of pattern within the fabric and a nice buckle design. The heel isn't too big, but it certainly adds to the overall look. They are bold and attention grabbing. I would consider these a fantastic essential for any flamboyant guy who wants to set himself apart from the pack. They have a little bit of a rugged edge to them as well. Sometimes rugged is necessary. You could wear these with a stunning double-breasted blazer or this wonderful red tailcoat. Be creative and experiment with your style. The key is to keep reinventing yourself. Don't ever get too complacent. The only downside to these they are so uncomfortable to wear. I've only worn them twice and it was painful, but other than that, I love them. Our first pair of gold shoes so far on the video. Oh yeah, Goldie will be happy. These are the definition of old world charm. Very posh and classy. I can imagine wearing these whilst on holiday in Dubai. They have that extravagant look to them. You really can't go wrong with gold. It's the color of wealth and prestige. But think about this. How often do you see guys, men, wearing gold shoes? Not often at all. I call it goldophobia. Take advice from someone who is drowning in gold. Gold is your friend. It's your golden ticket to a whole new world of style. The patterns on here are very beautiful, lots of nice shapes, and there is a glittery finish to the material. The two black tassels create a very upper class, almost aristocratic appearance. We love that around here, we really do. In feng shui, if you wear a lot of gold, you will attract money and opportunities to make money. So wearing shoes like these will increase the chances of you being successful. All right, the shoes here are not dress shoes at all. They are actually Taoist Tai Chi and Qigong shoes used for Taoist meditation. But you've got to admit they are very stylish. Of course, the design itself isn't ancient. It's certainly a modern interpretation of the classic Taoist cloud shoes, which have been worn by mystics and sorcerers for years, but I'm not complaining, I love them. The black and white patterns representing that of the Taiji, yin and yang. Hot energy, cold energy, creative forces and receptive forces. 
Wearing such shoes will improve one's balance within the natural world. If you have problems with anger or emotional outbursts, these are the shoes that will help with that. I love them. Black shoes. The camera does not do justice with how shiny these really are. Talk about shine factor. I'm not the type of person who cares too much about fashion rules, as I've said. What I do think though is that every gentleman should have a nice pair of elegant and formal black shoes. I think it's a must. All the other shoes I've shown you up until this point, very few guys would be able to pull them off because they probably wouldn't feel comfortable wearing such striking footwear. But you cannot go wrong with sleek black shoes. They can be worn pretty much anywhere at any occasion. And last but certainly not least, get your watermelons and diamonds at the ready. It's time to hit Vegas with Goldie once again. If you're going for pure wow factor, if you want to make a powerful statement of originality and eccentricity, you have to make use of these stunning shoes. Sure, maybe you won't be able to wear them everywhere you go, but I think that's kind of the point. That's the appeal of outrageous clothing. Save it for those very special occasions which call for something a little extra and a little more on the wild side. So that right there has been my favorite shoes from my personal collection. I've got a lot more, but I want to save some for future videos. I hope you've enjoyed this, everybody. Take care, and I'll see you soon.